Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, video. it's Rhonda, and in this video, we are going to talk about composition notebook covers, all right? And there are several different uh, listings for these on Etsy. Um, you have, you know, these personalized ones with different images and things like that. And you can make these for people to print at home and put on your standard composition book. Um, you just print them on sticker paper and apply them to the notebooks and the kids have perfectly adorable, customized notebooks for school. So I'm going to show you this morning how to make them and it's super easy. I have some Canva templates for you that make this super fast. So. First thing I want to do is show you some uh, keyword research here in Allura. Composition notebook template. It averages roughly 390 searches a month. That may not seem like much, but we're getting into the time of year where that's starting to peak, you know, and the competition is really low. So even if there's not a ton of searches each month, just the fact that the competition is super low makes it better. Uh, composition book all by itself that has over 22,000 searches a month and the competition is still very low on that and composition notebook is the same. So there is definite, uh, definitely people out here looking for this kind of thing. So we're going to make one today. We're going to make a couple. Now, you know, it is a little late to be listing products for back to school. But, you know, I figured these are really fast to make so you could make a couple and get them up and still have time to maybe sell some before back to school starts. So I have these two uh, Canva templates for you. One is a solid and then the second one has the typical um, composition book pattern, all right? So we're going to start with the first one and this, you know, I'm just going to use elements from Canva today just for the sake of speed, but I would definitely recommend creating your own images and designs for your uh, composition book templates, your digital files that you're going to be selling. I would absolutely recommend creating your own designs, but for this, uh, purpose, like I said, we're just going to use some Canva templates just to speed things up. So with this one, the solid one, I was thinking we could go something kind of girly. So I'm going to look for a floral background. And I think I'm going to look in photos. And I like, there we go. I like that. And you just pop that in and then you have your spine here that you can change the color to match with the cover of the book. And this little composition book tag here, I have that locked in place so it doesn't get joggled around. But you can absolutely unlock it and you can resize it if you want and you can move it wherever you want. It's up to you. You can completely get rid of it if you want. It's all up to you. So I'm just gonna put it back in place there. And then I think I'm gonna add a name. So we're gonna come over here to text, add a heading. Let me select my font here. And I want something handwriting. Uh, let's see what I want to go with. Normally I would just upload my own fonts, but again, I'm just doing this in the interest of time. 
Let's do Ella. And I'm going to make that bigger. And effects, we're going to outline it. And I'm going to choose a color from, I think I'm going to choose, what the heck, effects, outline. Let's go here. And I want this and the dropper. That's what I wanted to do. And we're going to use that spine color as our outline for the name. And you can make this, like I said, as big as you want it. And I may just get rid of that completely today. The uh, And just put Ella on here. And then you could add something else if you wanted to. Or you could just go with the plain, personalized, girly design here. You know, that looks adorable just like it is. And then let's come down here to this one. And for this, I usually just like to color the back. So I'm going to change the color to black. And my spine, I'm going to change to black. And in this one, what I typically will do is I'm going to lock this background now. That way I don't have to worry when I'm bringing elements in here and placing them that it'll try to snap to the frame. Okay. So I lock that and let's look for school bus. Some school bus clip art. Let's grab that. Bring this over. Pop it in. And how about a little girl let's see what we have in here I just grab this one you can pop that right in there next to the school bus and how about some back to school whoops not a background Look here, back to school and see. Actually, let's get rid of the little girl. Let's go with the books and apples down here with the school bus. And how about some back to school? Pop that right in there. And then you could add a name onto this one if you wanted. Let's do let's do a name here. Let's put this at the top. Let's go with Rosalie. Bring that right there. And the color. Um, let's go with the color of the apple. No. There we are. And let's change our font, pick something cute. How about, how about we use this one? Let's make this bigger. <clears throat> Pop that up at the top there. Let's give it an outline so it stands out better. Let's go with white. And then how about we give it a little bit of a curve let's give that this white and the curve we don't need it quite that there we go and just that quickly we have another finished design it's you know you can be as detailed or as simple and basic as you want to be with these. You can offer these as uh, personalized digital files where you create a design, add a name, and then let the customer uh, send you a name and you put it on the design. So all they have to do is print. That's completely up to you or you can um, create them and tell the customer they can edit it themselves or 
just design them more generally without names. But that is how quickly you can design these uh, composition notebook digital files. Once you have them done, then you just share, download, and I would download them. Obviously, I'm doing one at a time, so we're just going to download, you know, the floral. You could download that, then download your next one, and decide how you want to sell them. Do you want to customize them? Do you want to um, sell them as is? Now, here's another way we could just, let's get rid of that. And let's go look in my uploads and see what I have here. I have this turtle. That would be a gorgeous cover there. And then you could add some text to this. And let's go with the bright sunshine and just do just a girl who loves sea turtles. And move that down here. And then you could put a name up here. I'm having a heck of a time. So it doesn't have to just be florals. It doesn't have to be... Um, you know, clip art, you can do so many different designs with this. Come on, this is what I want. Don't want those lines to be so far apart. But that looks great. And it's just so easy to do these. It only takes a minute or two to create a design and get it ready to list in your Etsy shop. All right, so that's how you make these custom composition and notebook covers. And like I said, you can sell them as a digital file and the customer would buy them and download and just print on their standard household printer using a full sheet a sticker paper and then they apply it to the composition notebook and then they have custom notebooks for school. Alrighty. So if you have any questions, let me know. I will leave a link to where you can grab these uh, templates, these uh, notebook templates for Canva. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.